Well, hello and welcome back. Today is day 57. Now, the next seven videos are all going to be revolving around, as usual, sort of one central idea. And this central idea is massively important. Now, if you were to go and Google what makes someone successful, which is really all we're talking about with results achievement, right? How are we going to go and achieve results and create the success you're looking for? So if you were to go and Google that, you would find some similar traits. Some of those traits are going to be what we're going to talk about this week, which is why it's important. But all of the traits I'm going to talk about here briefly are all going to be balled up into this one main guiding principle that's going to sort of guide the, the, the thought this entire week. So what are some of those things if you Google that would show up? It would say things like drive. In fact, drive, having drive would be the number one indicator of success for most people. You would also see things like optimism, which I'm a big fan of. You know, flip the gratitude switch is largely about how do I be optimistic about everything that's going on around me and finding good in it? You'd also find things like, uh, you know, resourcefulness or um, things like, and this is a big one, passion. You'd find things like self-confidence, which we've already talked about. You would find a variety of things that say, hey, this is how you go be successful. But there's one word and one idea that we're going to talk about over the next seven videos that encompasses a number of these. So here's the word. You ready for it? The word is grit. Now, do you know what grit is? I think there's a movie called True Grit. I don't even remember what's in that movie. But grit is this idea of constantly persevering and sticking with it. It's taking that drive and taking that hope and that optimism and then also infusing it with passion, infusing it with your why and purpose and allowing that to drive you constantly, day in and day out in order to achieve results. So there's a phenomenal book that's called Grit, and some of what we're going to talk about over the next seven videos is going to be found in this book. So I highly recommend, it's by Angela Duckworth, and I highly recommend you go get the book Grit. In fact, the result for today is going to be part of some of the research that Angela Duckworth did around this idea of grit. So here's the result for today. I want you to click the button below. And the button below is going to take you to another site, and that site is going to have a 10-question quiz that's going to basically measure your grit. So what I want you to be thinking about is, do you feel you're gritty? Do you feel you have that stick-with-it-ness, right? Are you somebody who's very driven? Are you somebody who lives in passion and in purpose and actually does something that revolves around your why? Because if you're not that individual, the next six videos after this one are going to give you ways to dive in and discover how to increase your grit, which frankly is the largest indicator of somebody's ability to succeed. So over the next six videos, we're going to talk about a few different things. But today, let's start by figuring out how gritty you are. So go click the button below, take that grit scale quiz, and let's see how gritty you are. All right? Do that today, and we'll get started tomorrow talking about the principles that will make you more gritty so that you can be virtually guaranteed to achieve whatever result it is that you want to achieve in life. So we'll see you tomorrow.